All right, guys, this is the video. That's right, this is the video that I've been trying to release ever since last Sunday. I wanted it to go up. Then, the light is just like glowing in my eyes. That's kind of creepy. But unfortunately, I was having some issues with my card, or my memory card for my camera. It Basically, I lost a bunch of the footage and it was corrupted. First time I've ever had that issue in the two and a half years I've been posting YouTube videos. So I guess it was about time. But anyways, I was able to get a little bit of the footage back and I was able to get this video together for you guys. So it's still a fun one. I hope you guys enjoy. And for all of you that were wondering about the suction line replacement, I know I had a few people asking me about it when I mentioned that I was going to have to replace my own. That's going to be covered in this video, so this is for you. Even though I did lose some of the footage with Brian when we were having a good time down with him, I think it's still a fun video, so I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get it started. Alright guys, welcome back for a quick little channel CGE video. Hopefully this one will actually be quick and little, but today I'm going to be trying to replace the suction line and getting the AC figured out on my PT Cruiser GT. If you didn't watch the last video, I think it was one of the last videos I put up about uh, working on this car. One of the things I was trying to figure out was the AC system. If you didn't watch that video, you should go check it out. I told the whole story behind my AC system and we went through and replaced one of the lines and tried to figure things out, but when we went to fill the system with refrigerant, we found out that there was another leak and it was the suction line. It's such a small leak that you can't even just visually see it, but it's definitely leaking and it seems to be the last thing that's leaking. So I ordered a new one, it just came in the mail, so I'm gonna work on replacing that today. Here's my new one, as you just saw. I ordered this from some random place on Amazon, but it looks to be exactly what we need to go down in there. So job's a little bit of a pain. It's easy enough to, of course, unbolt this end of it, but as you can see, this suction line right here runs down behind the power steering reservoir right here. It goes behind there. You can s not actually see it. Let's see if I can get this to work. So what do you know, a dead flashlight. Let's try to shine my phone light down in here. You can see the line right there. There it is. And then straight down to the compressor, which is way down there. Bolt for this one, you can't see from this point of view. It's right behind that. But you can get to that bolt with a bunch of extensions. And I think it's a 10 millimeter. That's what I have to undo, and that's going to be the one that's a pain to take out and put back in. But in order to make it happen in the first place, I'm going to remove the grill and this upper radiator support, which is really easy to do. There's one, two, three, four here on the grill, and then I think there's six on the radiator support. I've had to do it a couple times before, and it's honestly not a big deal. Hopefully that'll be enough to be able to get a bunch of extensions down in there and get that thing loosened up. We shall see. Something to be real careful of when you're taking this all apart is don't um, drop bolts down in there because that sucks. I dropped one of them down there from the <laughs> radiator support and I had to fish it out because what happens is they go way down in there between um, I guess the intercooler down there and the radiator over here so that really sucks but luckily I had this little, little piece of junk magnet thingy and I was able to get it out. Anyways, now that things are kind of out of the way, you can see the bolt on the suction line. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, there it is, right there, that bolt. That bolt way down in there. I think if I link like three extensions together, I should be able to reach down in there and get it out. It's a 10 millimeter. And of course, this is no big deal. I think that's like a 13, that'll come right off. So I guess let's just, let's just give it a shot. Got him. Also, it's probably not a bad idea to unbolt the hood latch when you take this thing off so that you can get it off the side and not accidentally scratch your paint. Obviously, as you can see, my paint is absolute crap already, so I'm not too worried about it. This car's gonna get resprayed someday anyways, but anyways, that bolt actually came out pretty easily, so this should pop right up. Now I just gotta remove that and we should be able to pull the line out. All 
right, guys. Well, I finally got the line off with much finagling. Um, I didn't film it because it was just being a real pain. But basically, what I did to get it off is, uh, of course, I cut this rubber end off because it was just getting in the way. So, got that out of the way. And I was able to, you see, the, it was, the line was down in here like this. So, I was able to kind of get it like this and really yank. And I had to pull back on the fan as hard as I could or on the whole radiator thing so that uh, this end would clear the fan shroud. And it was, I really had to use my gains. Luckily I did not break anything, crack any plastic or, or bend anything or do anything I shouldn't have, but I was able to get it out. What a lot of people recommend you do online though is somehow just cut this line like maybe right about here. So if you're doing this, I would recommend ahead of time just figuring out something so that you can cut the line right about here and then you can get the old one out nice and easy. Anyways, either way it's out now and now it's time for the fun part to put the new one in. What they recommend you do is actually put the new one in up from the bottom and come up through, basically like fit it up through here and come out right about the center of the radiator, come up through and on a nice angle fit this end up through. If that doesn't work, we'll figure something out. I'm going to try to do it from the bottom first, I guess. Looks like what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new line and I'm going to feed it up through here. This is, uh, I think these are power steering lines here. Pretty rusty and crappy looking. I'm going to send them up between there and this radiator hose. I'm going to send it up through there. I'm going to kind of aim for uh, the bottom of that other AC line. You can kind of see it right there. I'm just going to kind of aim it up through there and um, then go up under the hood and see if I can grab it and slide it through. Um, fingers crossed on this one. I finally got it up through took a little bit of uh, twisting a little bit of finagling a lot of wiggling and stuff like that But I got it through it's really impossible for me to show you exactly how to get it through and exactly how I did it you Just kind of got to feel it out, but it's through now So all it needs to do is get in position and bolt it down if There's any uh, little word of advice I could give on getting that thing in I, all I can say really is just don't be afraid to uh, Use a little bit of elbow grease Use a little bit of your gains on it. You know, of course, be careful that you're not going to break anything like uh, crack plastic on the fan shroud or rip any wires or anything like that down in there. But at the same time, just you kind of got to mm, a little bit. You know, this isn't a uh, SEMA show car after all. So. so now I guess I just have to bolt it down and then we can think about drawing a vacuum on the system again and charging it up, see if it works. Just a little trick I'm going to use to get this bolt back in here is I got some like cheap poster hanging household sort of double sided tape. I shoved the bolt into the wrench using that. It's not super adhesive so it's not going to get stuck on there or make a mess or anything. But it's just enough that I can bring the bolt down in there and get it started without having it fall off and fall into the abyss. Tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful day in America. It's actually really beautiful out today. It's nice and warm. I'm feeling good today. I got my caffeine in my system, and we're going to go down and have Bri throw some refrigerant in the system and draw a vacuum on it. I got over here, well, I got my I got my sunglasses, of course. I got these from Tuner Crate. I want to go fast. And, of course, I always have a water bottle with me. I'm that guy that has like three half-used uh, water bottles in his car at all times. <laughs> but over here, I got, I actually got a Walmart, just plain refrigerant. This is Cool Master. It's got no uh, snake oils in it or anything crazy like that. So I'm gonna drive down there, I'm gonna throw some refrigerant in the system, and hopefully uh, the system will work or maybe we'll find another leak or something. I really hope not, but I'm pretty sure there's no more leaks, so we'll find out today. Well, this looks familiar. This is in the last uh, video. I didn't actually see that video, I apologize. You didn't watch it? No, it was like a 20 minute video. Tisk, I know, it was a really long one. I just, it was really 20 long. minutes, it's just, it's a hard trope for me to. I know. Some people say they like the long videos. 
So then, I personally don't like releasing long videos. But some people are like, oh yeah, the longer the better. I like the long vlogs or whatever. So it's like, well, I don't know. What do you do, you know? So I was going to put it in two parts, but it was just easier to release it all as a chunk at that point. So I'm like, well, you know what? I'll make some people happy. Two thousand years later. Heck yeah. You know what? I'm sick of this lighting. I'm just gonna move you guys over over a little. I'd like to be filming this outside, but it's breezy enough that I feel like you're not going to be able to hear a word I say, so. Anyways, guys, for a quick little update on the S10. It's it's this close to driving all by itself. Again, the truck actually runs right now. I'm just waiting at this point to get it so it's driving so we can make a really good video. The S10, I, want, I don't want to make just like filler content, filler videos with the S10. I want it to be really special because that truck is very special to me and I know it's special to this channel. It's kind of what started this channel, so I want the next video to be able to live up to that and, and how much it means to me and the channel, I guess. Real close to getting it to move, I'm just having a few more issues with the slave cylinder. Once we get that all sorted out, the truck will be driving again. And then that's just the beginning because there's going to be tons more happening in that truck. It's not gonna be leaving anytime soon. It's probably never going to leave my hands. So expect a lot more S10 content very soon. So if the S10 is not driving and the new S10 video is not out by this coming Sunday, I have a really funny video to do with the PTGT. I think you guys will enjoy. So either way, there's going to be a really cool video coming out this weekend. Watch for new uploads every Sunday and also be sure and smack the like button if you did enjoy this video. Also comment down below with any questions about the suction line or just anything you would like to say, I'll be sure and try to answer anybody's questions. I know I haven't been getting to YouTube comments as quickly lately and it's kind of hard for me to get to all of them since you know the channel's been growing. I do my best to get back to everybody's questions and everybody's comments. So be sure and go drop one below. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching this quick little channel CG video. You rock, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.